bit of fun. Alright, okay. so then what I need you to do is scroll this down. Yep. Click on title. I'll just find out the template. Yeah. Uh, go settings. Click config. Then highlight, add a macro. Okay. And then yeah, you're just going to paste it over here. And make sure you keep the spacing exactly right. So just right where we're at. What just happened? Uh, I don't know. Hit control C. Okay, so... Oh, you got one of these, like, cataclysm mice oh, what? things. Yeah. Well, because I play games. <laughs> I play games. Yeah. Alright, so just highlight from the R. Huh? I just highlight from the R. Yeah, we'll then I just paste. Pressing it. Um, Pressing it. This poor Winst guy has been When was this okay, game made? Hit okay. Was, when was this game made? Uh, do you have no idea? You, you, you have the box. Shock me, dude. <laughs> what was that? 93. 93. Okay. Okay, so it just hit OK. Okay, I'm hitting OK. And, uh, yeah, just scroll up here and that'll go away. Alright, there we go. Good to go. This is, okay. <laughs> Alright, five minutes into this, we got everything working alright. <laughs> That's um, pretty What were the fucking settings? Can you go to the original thing? Because I think it says, like, Wizard Tame or whatever it is. Oh, man. Alright, let's see. Everybody, let's check this thing. Uh, just you, just here. Well. All right, we good? Yep, and we can hear James. Yay! Yay! And somebody, somebody actually already answered that. Burn ninety three. Mm. What up? Wizard slash. Our fans know more than you. Okay. Know. All right. Oh. Okay. Go ahead and uh, just talk to him about the stuff in the app. No, sure. Talk um, about the whole idea of UGC. <laughs> So, uh, hi guys. My name is James. I'm the director of public relations for uh, Gamers Against Bigotry. And yeah, this is what this entire uh, stream is about. We are essentially trying to, you know, help eliminate all the bigoted crap that usually happens in, like, online gaming or people assume goes with gaming and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, off the bat, right now we have a pledge over on our website, which should be the first link, Adam, you'd said? First link down below the... the first link on there for the PDC site for the pledges, right? Yeah, yeah, yep, first link. Okay, yeah. It's very, very first one. Um, we're doing that. Our general plan, our kind of thing, plan of attack, what we want to do is we're going to yeah, use this as a type of... With, uh, the, uh, with the spells, so if I collect two things, I'm just going to go for it. I normally have a cheat sheet, but I don't, so fuck it. There we go. Okay. But uh, with Gab, our big th thing is we're trying to get enough support to eventually go and talk to developers and things and so make it so that we can... Now, eventually it gets harder because you actually get something that takes away letters and blah, 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 blah. We'll force people to uh, take responsibility for their actions and, uh, and things online. Yeah. So, I mean, check out the site. Uh, we have... But I've beaten this game more times than, um, than my own self, so... Um, if you want to volunteer, we'd love to have some help. I mean, if you don't feel like you can donate or anything, there's... You can always donate your time. Time is awesome. I mean, heck, I'm doing this yeah, part-time while I'm in college, so... <laughs> it does something you can't do. Yeah, that's, that's freaking awesome. So while we watch Argo here, what looks like play a wizard running around on a roller coaster? Is that <laughs> what I saw? Yeah, what is, what is essentially the whole purpose of this game? That's you, Abro. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're collecting spells to save rabbits. Collecting spells to save rabbits. <laughs> a no goal. Because perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. So, um, anybody in the chat have any questions for me about anything that I could answer? Yeah, please. Anybody got any questions for uh, James? Yeah, I don't Tap away. Don't be shy. Sounds like I don't a really nice guy. Most of those guys were here for the first time you joined in, so... Oh, were they really? Yeah, <laughs> I said some of the same guys. Yeah, awesome. they, might have made, uh, they might have made their beats already. Yeah. Hmm. Now, how old is this uh, thing you've created? Oh, actually, uh, I'm not... The cre That's <laughs> Sam. He's, uh... He might be in the chat. He's uh, Gamers Against Bigotry in there, but... It's just this year. Like, we are brand spanking new startup. Well, awesome. It, it's it's completely a fantastic program, and it's it's absolutely worth anyone's time. Yeah. So actually, how did you guys hear about us? That was that was through um, 
That was through you. How'd you originally hear about it, Adam? I, I do. I can't remember. I think I just remember like searching like what I wanted to do like for the cause and um, you know just people I wanted. Well, to how'd you found out? How'd you shit. find out about it in general? Like like UGC. I, what's this? It sounds awesome. Like what? Me? Yeah. I created UGC. Well, this um me the whole the whole the bigotry program. The, yeah, I just fucking stumbled on. Oh, you just like, stumbled like, across it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Just looking okay. at stuff that, you know, I, I like, like a like good charity or, you know, people like, like-minded people, and I found that, so. Alright, cool. Um, like, you know, what know. was it? It looks like a Bruta Blaziken probably said yeah, that wrong. It costs nothing to fucking uh, yeah. do a petition, so. How will raising money help? If um, you guys, uh, you know, at the very least, go over to the website, and then, uh, if you're so inclined, check out, uh, or sign the petition. Yeah. And uh, if you want to do even even more, you can donate because all proceeds will be going to them. Mm -hmm. Or volunteer. And, uh, so We're always looking for help. Good stuff, so you can go and buy it. Was uh, me and Mr. Master are yeah. walking. <laughs> all right. So uh, somebody's what asking, like, how... is, gonna, yeah, he's uh, actually. Uh, you got a really yeah. good question here. Um, how will raising money help actually help anything? Well. Not get all the fucking letters, which is good. What we're hoping to do, um, and the money's going to be used for, is to help run the site, is to uh, do things like ad campaigns for this. Um, our big thing is we're trying to lead by example and be a very public example, too, because... Yeah, time limits, which I normally don't, this game will give you a heart attack. Yeah. Because, essentially, with this, yeah, people still will act like themselves, but the if the community doesn't tolerate it, then Sorry if I'm talking about you guys, the chances you. of it happening will drastically go down, and it'll become an infinitely more safe space for everybody to join in. And let's see, uh, what was your start Sorry for starting Gab? Like I said, I didn't start with Gab. Um, I just found it Oh, how did I find it? I think it was when Will Wheaton blogged about it at some point. Maybe through Google+. Plus. I can't remember. But I thought it was a really cool idea. And uh, once I had some time, I decided to volunteer. And here I am. Just always loved the premise and stuck with it. Yep. Good, good. Alright, let's see. That, uh... That Waka Waza thing, uh, the volunteer at gamersagainstbigotry.org. Yeah, if any of you guys want to, like, volunteer, also check out the webpage where we are looking for people who do things like, uh, you no know, website code. Really to get that yeah. Let's see. Um, what else are we looking for? I mean, somebody who wants to, like, do art stuff, help lead a community, like if you run a Steam group or maybe like a uh, guild or something. I don't know, anybody play Guild Wars? I'm on there. <laughs> no? I might be the only person. <laughs> I, I would have barely had a piece so <laughs> I could run it. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, if you're really busy, we understand. Just, if you ever uh, have time and want to donate, just shoot us what like an example of what you know or something, talk with Sam through email, and if it works out, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Walker, have you thought about building your own PC? Yeah, actually, uh, I'm, I use a Newegg if I ever need to, like, help build a PC. Yeah. I've got to build a few computers for uh, some people in... Uh, Nice. Good, like, um, it's like 500 bucks to get a PC that does what a 1400 one can do. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I have a build mapped out on, uh, what's the site? PCPartPicker.com. And I'm, uh, it's like a dream build, like 1500 in the future sort of thing. It's just nice to look at all the parts. It's like, ooh, they go so perfectly together. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Walker. That kind of sucks. I just, I just turned at the, at the, at the, the text thing, like, oh Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Positive response. <laughs> oh, man. 
So well, we're definitely we're definitely happy to uh, help him out and be a part of this, and we definitely appreciate any any and all donations that have been done. And matter of fact, if, even if you can't donate, just oh like God. being on here with us, yeah. you know, we really do appreciate it. Oh. Tell your friends about it. Sign the pledge. I think we're still just south side of uh, 1,800 pledges. If we can break that tonight, that would be really awesome. So let's see. Oh, uh, one other thing that we just started doing, well, everything we've just started doing, but this in particular, which actually Red South City and United Gamers Coalition, you guys are the first ones of this, is our partners program. So we'll be make sure to like work closely with you guys, do a bunch of stuff, do more events like these, things like this, help advertise your channel, you help advertise us, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And... Um, if any of you guys run other streaming things or in other groups, we now have a page for you to uh, like apply, vote to uh, be a partner with us, which essentially just means we take a quick look through your stuff, make sure that your community guidelines match up with what we believe, things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that is super awesome. I think it's almost uh, with uh, with Adam Agro's help, it almost just kind of like he. Has created a way for all of us just to get together. So the whole idea of the UGC is just pretty, oh, yeah. freaking awesome. Game C is easier. We're all together. <laughs> that is one scary ass snake. That is one freaky snake. I don't know. Please yeah. tell me he's dead. He's not gonna pop back up. No, well, I'm still pissed off at the moon. I'm just terrified at it because it's it's what it's so bipolar. Now it's yeah. Because it now, it it now it's very off at first. That's very just you know, it was mad. And, now it fell asleep for something. Uh, oh, now he's oh, now he's he's plotting. That was a plotting face. That's what he does, man. He's a plotter. Woo, Red Warriors. Even though I think the we got two gingers. <laughs> no, Red Warriors is a uh, Red City fans. Huh? Red Warriors is just. Oh, it's just said Red Sox City fans. Okay. <laughs> I should know that. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking tired, I mean, bro. If... <laughs> oh, fuck out. But, you know, I still have not beaten Majora's Mask. I really need to finish that that's one up. Our, uh, You're game you're game. okay. You're okay on that because I honestly haven't beaten it either. Yeah. I, I couldn't get into it just because of the whole idea of collecting all those masks. I just I couldn't do it. I well, got overwhelmed. Had a good run. <laughs> I got Majora? like yep. most. I got through the second temple and like most of the masks is just get into the third one I just kind of sputtered and I haven't gotten back to it yet gotcha swell cheat sorry swell cheat that's, a, that's an awesome that's an awesome uh, magic spell collecting puppies for it. and the floating they're rabbits thing. they're rabbits they're not, rabbits, not just rabbits no. rabbits no they're puppies dude they're not puppy puppy rabbits Go ahead yourself. What was that? Go ahead yourself. PG, sir. Mm. Uh, what time is it? Uh, Go ahead yourself. It's 12 y'all's time. 12 y'all's time. <laughs> yep. Uh, man. Do you have um, any uh, any events coming up uh, uh, for Gab? Let's see. What you know about? Gab, 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 Gab. No, this was our big thing right now. Uh, we are also doing something on... Our Facebook page, where I mean, we're having people share the reasons they've signed up. This is the event of the season. We're gonna try to turn that into an ad campaign. This right here. Okay. Um, yeah, of the season. But I mean, right now we're playing it by ear. I know I have a. Uh, <laughs> since I'm doing public relations, my big thing. Congratulations. A bunch of groups, and I have a couple projects going with that. Okay. I don't know any game groups you guys are involved in that should definitely be try to check out. No, yeah, this is pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's this uh, collaboration. Just it's it's really cool because it's just pretty much like a gathering of YouTubers. Okay. In Hero Biscuit. In in, sure. in Hero Biscuit. And the guy from Canada. <laughs> well, we needed uh, Canadians for that idea. We needed a Canadian uh, to represent oh, oh my balls. the whole idea of Gab as well. I went to Canada. Fuck yeah! I suck it. Was uh. Oh! I was. I got no extra time that round, dude. I am not gonna make it. I'm gonna fucking lose it. Adam, Adam, shh. James is talking. 
<laughs> no, it's all right. <laughs> but no, I remember, I went to Canada once. We were going, like, canoeing in a bunch of lakes, and, oh, God, it was beautiful. Ah, uh, I'm jelly. I will have to tell Mr. Canada. He's, he's taking sleeps siesta. Yeah. yeah. Siesta, he should, because he's got also. I was going to say, you can also tell him that is the only time I've seen a bald eagle. Oh, really? Yeah. America's icon in Canada. Go figure. Yeah, America's icon in Canada. Yeah. Uh, he's out. Cool. Yeah, he's up there taking a nap, getting ready for the Link to the Past run. That's going to be amazing. It's probably a time where I should be sleeping, but I can't miss that, so everyone needs to stay on to watch a whole run through of Link to the Past. And please, 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 again, we appreciate your donations. Yeah. It'll help us spread the word. Game over. Yep. What? Game, what? Wait, it's only it? joking. <laughs> God. <laughs> it spells, man. Kids today, what are you going to do, James? <laughs> man. God, yeah, but... Yeah. I'm sorry, dude. Those are, those are puppies. I don't care what you say. Let's see here. Well, yeah, I guess I can also plug our store if you guys want to check that out. It's uh, I'll drop it in the chat here in a second. Oh, please do. That's where they're getting all the cool uh, Gamers Against Bigotry shirts. I know I need to get mine soon too. Is that at the Cafe Press? Yeah, that's the Cafe Press link. Yeah, so, uh... I would, I would visit it if it wouldn't open up a hyperlink and, and, and slow down the stuff. But please, everybody, yeah, it's just feel free. It's just a netbook. Feel free to check it out. <laughs> oh, no. You guys are running all of this off of a netbook? No. Oh. Dang. Is this, is this actually... This isn't the main thing it's running off of, is it? Okay, I was going to say, that's ridiculous. That's, it is. That, that's yeah. The, uh, that's where we monitor the chat. Yeah, because the, the netbook is used to monitor the chat. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. I was about to say, I mean, one. at one point yeah, I tried uh, to stream StarCraft off of my good old-fashioned aluminum MacBook, and it had a fit. <laughs> like, that was just not going to happen. It's like, yeah, we're running all this through a netbook. Uh, uh... Well, the first block TV we actually did. We yeah, the first block TV we did. We did. Well, you, you did. Oh, yeah, I did. Well, you were there. Well, I was there. You definitely were. You were there for my very first live show. That was your very first live show? See? That's why I love you. This is like, this is like, take, it's like, going back five fucking years. Pachinko! Exactly. <laughs> I still remember that. Oh, man. Yeah. So, uh, I haven't looked at the schedule recently. Besides A Link to the Past, what other, other games do you guys have coming up? Oh, um, Miss Brittany, what else uh, do we have coming up? Yeah, if you want to post a link to the schedule again. I will. Um, I'm going to post the link to the She's posting the link to the schedule now. Next, we have Final Fight 3. Final Fight 3? Hi, that's uh, me. And then we have Gigawing, Gigawing 2, and then the really long block of Link to the Past. Gigawing, <laughs> Gigawing 2, and then that's when the Link to the Past things are going to happen. So I'm doing Final Fight 3, then both Gigawings, and then we're going to see Mr. Canada himself do a whole run through of Link to the Past, which I'm very excited for. Oh, cool. There we go. Yeah. There's a link right there if you're curious about the whole schedule situation. Cool. And once again, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone who's been a part of this and who has donated. You guys are yeah. super awesome, and we love you. Oh, shit, hold on. Yeah. Thanks to all of our donators. We have a couple new things. In I got a couple new ones? We got a couple new guys? Uh, not new guys. Oh, I read us. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Bots Brand, for uh, subscribing. Oh, a new subscriber. Awesome. Thank you. Spread the word. Yeah, uh, Heavy Metal Gamer has joined us. So thank welcome. you so much, Heavy Metal Gamer, for stopping by. Hey, welcome. Where the fuck am I doing? Okay. We're, we're in collaboration with Games Against Bigotry. We are the UGC, United Gamers Coalition, created by Mr. Adam Agro. That's me. In his sexiness. He is playing Wiz and Liz right now, trying to beat as many games as possible. Um, we are taking donations to fight bigotry in game in the game world, which uh, 
James has elaborately <laughs> described to us. Yeah, and uh, also <laughs> be sure to check out the things. different uh, incentives that can go for your donations. Mine personally went for the zombie makeup, which I really want to see happen. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Mine was super easy, but uh, it was a big punishment. Purple. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite word so far. Purples. Warfuls? Murfuls. Murfuls? Murfuls. Murfuls. That's the greatest spell name ever. Harry Potter ain't got nothing on this. <laughs> Harry Potter ain't shit. Harry Potter. I'm pretty sure Harry Potter was all a bunch of uh, Latin Potter, stuff. Did you just run into the Murfuls? You know what? I believe you on that. Yeah. <laughs> At least what I remember from high school Latin seemed to make sense there. <laughs> oh, fuck that. If I get that M, then I lose the whole spell myself. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Oh. Brutal. I also, I also want to see the makeup happen. Oh, sweet heavy metal gamer, sweet Tex Maloik, my friend. Tex Maloik. Maloik. It's the uh, the heavy metal sign you know you make with your fingers. Nice. Oh, oh that's what that is. Yeah, it's, it's in. It's technically an Italian word called a maloik, which means uh, you use it when someone gives you the I evil know, eye. Has it's supposed to ban the evil eye. Okay. Yeah, I think these are all Dio like actually popular. You know, popular. That would make sense. <laughs> just like he didn't invent it. He's just the like I did this, and people thought yeah. it was devil horns. <laughs> <laughs> and right now, the more you know, rainbow just appeared above my head. Well done. <laughs> you can't I don't know when everybody, time. whenever somebody like talks about a more you, a Ooh, rainbow yeah. or something, I immediately think oh. of the SpongeBob Imagination Rainbow. That's the my first SpongeBob thing. SpongeBob Imagination Rainbow. Do you guys not know that? Uh, I grew up without cable. Oh. <laughs> and I literally well, just got internet what last year. Yeah. At my house. Yeah. <laughs> well, wel welcome to the World Wide Web. It's incredible. I can do so many things, like look up stuff that's not in a dictionary. No, I'm so thankful for the internet. I remember uh, I would always ask my mom when I was way younger, I was like, what does this word mean? Go look it up. So I'd have to march downstairs to the big old dictionary that we have, flip through 100,000 pages or so, look up a word, tell her what it means, and then she says, now you know. I was like, oh, well, fine. Thanks. Now that the internet's here, I just enter it into Google, and magic happens. It's a great thing, but at the same time, it's kind of like, it makes things too easy. <laughs> well, oh. the funny thing is, I was still using Nintendo Powers to beat some of my games, like, until last year. <laughs> I mean, if it's good information, you can't fault where you get it. you just said? Dude, I got both ear things in my ears. I can't hear what you're saying about me. <laughs> Let's I'm see, uh, <laughs> Walker wanted to know uh, if we have any upcoming get-togethers or anything coming soon. Uh, nothing exclusively planned. Like I said, I know I'm reaching out to um, a bunch of groups and sort of making the pitch for us, but me and Sam are definitely going to be trying to work out doing something like a streaming event like this or something uh, on a semi-regular basis. Do you have any ideas, Waka, of things that we could do? <laughs> okay. Oh, but there will be. <laughs> there will be. Yeah, anyone in the chat, you got any ideas for it? I mean, by all means, please share it. Volunteer yeah. your time. That's that's one of the best things to do. Is this? I mean, you got the time. Volunteer. Maybe I can find some way to uh, stream just, uh, yeah, a probably. timed run through Legend of the Dragoon off my PS2 or something. Now that I would watch. <laughs> I love that game, but hitting those additions <laughs> right at the specific moment is murder. <laughs> it's like ah, I'll just play Super Mario RPG for that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's so much easier. There you go. Big game tournament. Yeah, there you go. yeah that's a, uh, do a big game tournament with everyone to see, like, game Smash tour? Brothers Melee or Brawl. I that's don't know. Yeah. I would, I would make people cry. 
sorry. Probably would. <laughs> She's just like, probably. <laughs> probably definitely would. But you would be doing it with yeah. superior skill yeah. and not bigotry. That's the important thing. Ah! That's the moral. You can't hear what he's saying, so I'm just gonna stare at you. I'm sorry. I'm like, James makes a really good point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Super Street Fighter. Oh, that's my game. That's fucking 450 now. What are you doing? Trying to buy an extra shop. Like, Fix your economy. Fix your economy. They need a, um, what is it? They need a stimulus package to come in. Okay. Hey, go to the DLC and purchase that extra life for 1,600 points. <laughs> I have no idea what this is going to do. Why'd you put a turnip in there? It's an avocado to rush 50 seconds of extra. Oh. That's not bad. That's kind of what I need there. <laughs> so you still have music in life, now you got extra time. I got extra life too. It's okay. Oh, is it? Oh, oh, did someone leave their phone down here? Huh? I think someone left their phone down here. My phone's here. Cool. <laughs> James is like cool. Cool. Somebody left a phone. People are leaving phone. <laughs> oh, it's my wife. That's why. <laughs> is Pokemon <laughs> communist? Um, it's a possibility, <laughs> but at the same time, because its entire economy is based around uh, animal fighting, I have a hard time believing that it is purely communist. I feel the animals would be mo used for something like agriculture or um industrial labor or something. Yeah, I could definitely see that, especially with the electric Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, actually, that reminds me, you guys were talking, at least in the chat, they were talking about uh, Legend of Korra a while ago. They saw the firebenders doing the lightning thing into the generators to power everything. Mm -hmm. I always thought that was a pretty cool touch. It's a oh, great yeah. show. Oh, it's so good. Oh, guys, we're talking about Avatar Last Airbender again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, it's that. I could probably talk uh, sure. for years on end about Star Trek if you wanted. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, Star Trek, oh. Ah. Oh, well, hey, what's the episode where it had all those little fuzzy things that kept them all the Trouble time? Trouble Tribbles. Yep. Trouble with Tribbles? Uh, Deep Space Nine actually did a time travel episode where they went back and they digitally inserted those crew members into Trouble with Tribbles. You see? You, see, you hear that, gang? All the more reason to support Gab. Yep. <laughs> because I know Star Trek because trivia. He knows yep. Star Trek trivia. <laughs> you know, I like Kirk. I especially like the new Kirk. Uh, and I'm really excited for the next movie to come out. But I gotta say Picard. Oh, Just completely. Completely. Every time. This chat might catch on fire now because we said that. But I'm, mm -hmm. I'm totally with you on that one, actually. Well, also, because well, if Australia you look at playing Kirk... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> True. But if you look at, like, also uh, the work... <laughs> Patrick Stewart does with, I think, Amnesty International and a bunch of other things. He's really socially active, and it's really, really cool. Now that I did not know about. I, yep. just, I just admire his voice on various cartoons and watching Star Trek. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those guys that when he talks, you listen. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I could listen to him, Morgan Freeman, James Earl Jones, oh, somebody else. Now, Morgan Freeman, I don't know if I can after him narrating that thing with him. Because now every time I hear him, this is the time. <laughs> and you know what? And Mark Hamill doing his Joker, I would listen to them read out the dictionary. And I would be happy. The Joker reading the dictionary? Brilliant. Mark Hamill's Joker. Oh, yeah. The, from the like, 90s uh, cartoon. I'm so sad he retired from that voice. Yeah. Arkham but, I mean, was the last time he did it. That was a fun game. That one I really liked. Oh, anything to do. I'm kind of a Batman biased, so anything along with, uh, with that. Yeah. Perfect. What would you think of of uh, Batman Beyond uh, movie? Like live action? Yeah. I guess it would really depend on who they get to play Terry. That's true. So that would be hard. Because, like, Terry's, like, in between being a whiner, but also a, you know, boss, like, you know, hardcore, like, badass. <laughs> yeah. He always struck me as, I don't know, any of you guys ever watch uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion? It's really weird anime. Oh, Ava? Yeah. I yeah. The whole series. Okay. Uh, he, Terry kind of struck me as just a much more macho Shinji. 
I'm more, more macho. Hey, you know what? That's actually a good good relation to it. Yeah. To everybody. Oh, look, Batman Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> How you holding up over there, Adam? Are you shaking your head? I don't like that. Oh. Are you shaking your head? I've got a lot of time.